everybody, Dan from Keystone Wood Specialties, here to explain how to measure and size your drawer boxes when using both side mount drawer slides and under mount drawer slides. I'm going to start the video with explaining how to do that, and then later on in the video I'm going to explain why you need to size it that way. And then at the end, there's a quiz just to make sure you understand. Let's start with measuring for side mount drawer track. And we'll begin with measuring the width of the drawer box. First, let's measure the opening width. In this case, our opening is 15 and 3 quarters of an inch wide. And our drawer track is exactly a half inch, so you need to leave that space between the opening and the side of the drawer box. And if you like easy math, that means you take the opening minus one inch, half inch drawer track on each side. This opening is 15 and 3 quarters of an inch wide, and minus one inch, we order our drawer box at 14 and 3 quarters of an inch wide. Next, we'll do the height. The height of the opening is five inches. And with side mounted drawer track, you're not constrained to have a certain clearance at the top or the bottom. And we can really order the drawer box any height we want as long as it fits in the opening. In this case, with a five inch opening, we're gonna order the drawer box at four and a half inches high and leave a quarter of an inch clearance at the bottom and a quarter of an inch clearance at the top. It also doesn't matter where the floor of the drawer box is. It doesn't need to be recessed a certain amount, as is the case with undermount drawer track. You can have a flush bottom in your drawer box. You could have it recessed a quarter, a half, it doesn't really matter. Next, we're gonna measure the depth. The depth of the drawer box is gonna be whatever size drawer track fits. And since this is gonna be an overlay app application, we have 23 inches from the inside of the back to the face of the face frame. And our side mount drawer track comes in two inch increments. And the next closest size drawer side is 22 inches deep. So we're gonna order our drawer box 22 inches deep with the 22 inch deep drawer track, and that gives us an inch clearance in the back. Another interesting thing about side mount drawer track is if you wanted to, you could actually adjust the depth of the drawer box a little bit. If a homeowner says, if, if I have an extra inch in the back, can I make the drawer box an inch deeper? You can do that. It won't be full extension anymore. It won't come out of the cabinet the whole way, but you can do that. Same thing goes if there's something in the way and you won't quite be able to get a 22 inch deep drawer in there, but you can get a 21 and a half inch deep drawer. You can just make your drawer a little bit narrower, a little bit less deep and it'll fit. Now let's measure for undermount drawer track. Let's begin with the width. The width of the opening is 15 and 3 quarters of an inch. And we're measuring for a drawer that has 5 8 inch thick sides. And for undermount drawer track, the thickness of the drawer side matters. You size them differently with different thickness sides. So we're planning for a 5 8 inch thick drawer box. And the opening is 15 and 3 quarters of an inch. And in this case, we want to leave 3 16 of an inch gap on each side beside, between the drawer box and the opening. So you take your opening minus 3 16 minus 3 16 or your opening minus 3 8 overall, and that is your drawer box size. In this case, the opening is 15 and 3 quarters. That means we order drawer box that is 15 and 3 8 inch wide. Now let's measure the height. The height of the opening is five inches. And with undermount drawer track, and we're using the Bloom 563H series drawer track here, you need 9 sixteenths of an inch between the bottom of the opening and the bottom of the drawer box. So we need to plan the height to accommodate that. We also need the bottom to be recessed a half an inch from the bottom of the drawer box. That's a standard here at Keystone. So you don't need to specify that. Um, and then, Bloom recommends leaving a quarter of an inch at the top. With this being a five inch high opening and leaving the 9 16 inch clearance at the bottom and at least a quarter of an inch at the top, we're actually gonna order a drawer box at four inches high just to make sure we have the clearance necessary. For the drawer box depth, we're gonna measure from the inside of the back to the face of the face frame because this is going to be an overlay cabinet. We have 23 inches. 
And with our undermount drawer track, these are sized in three inch increments. So 23 inches is the dimension that we have. The next smallest drawer track that will fit is our 21 inch deep drawer track. And our drawer track, the undermount drawer track, actually needs an extra inch of clearance beyond what it's listed as. So a 21 inch deep drawer track will actually need about 22 inches inside dimension in order to clear. And another thing with the undermount drawer track, you actually need to order the drawer box exactly the same size as the drawer track. Unlike the side mount where you have some flexibility, the undermount drawer track, when you have 21 inch deep slides, you need to order your drawer box at exactly 21 inches deep. Now let's measure for undermount drawer track with a drawer box that has half inch thick sides. We're going to measure the opening width in this case. As the others, it's 15 and three quarters of an inch wide. When your drawer box has half inch thick sides, we want to leave five sixteenths of a gap on each side between the edge of the opening and the side of the drawer box for five eighths of an inch overall. So if our opening is 15 and three quarters of an inch wide, minus five sixteenths, minus five sixteenths, you should order your drawer box at 15 and one eighths of an inch wide. As far as measuring the height, it's the same as with the other one. We just did that and the same thing with the depth. The depth and the height measure the same regardless of the drawer side thickness. It's just the width that changes. We've measured for our drawers. We've ordered our drawers. Now let's see if they fit. With the side mount drawer track, we ordered these one inch less than the opening in width and a quarter inch and a quarter inch. And we ordered them 22 inches deep and it fits perfectly. Now let's grab the undermount drawer track. This we measured three eighths of an inch less than the opening, which is three sixteenths per side, leaving a nine sixteenth gap at the bottom and a little over a quarter of an inch gap at the top. Now I'm gonna explain why we have to size the drawer boxes the way we do. If you're anything like me, you started out using the side mount drawer track. And really the only constraint you had to deal with was the width of the drawer box. It had to be one inch less than the opening so that it accommodated the one inch thickness of the drawer sides, sl slides. And then you could make the height of the drawer anything you wanted as long as it fit in the opening. You could make the depth, any depth that you wanted as long as it fit and the drawer bottom could be located anywhere in the drawer box. When you switch to undermount drawer track, everything changes. You have a different frame of reference with where the drawer box attaches to the drawer track, and you have a lot more constraints to deal with. Let's talk about reference points for a minute. With side mount drawer track, the drawer track attaches to the outside of the drawer side. And when you have that in the cabinet, it doesn't matter how thick the drawer side is, all that matters is the distance from the outside of the drawer side to the opening. It needs to be a half an inch clearance there. Everything changes when you switch to undermount drawer track. You no longer reference the outside of the drawer box. You now reference the inside of the drawer side and the bottom of the drawer bottom. And as you can see here, with that being the critical dimension, depending on how thick your drawer side is, changes this remaining gap. And that's why the drawer boxes are sized differently. This is a half inch thick drawer side, and I'm gonna show you what that gap does when you change it to a five eighths of an inch drawer side. As you can see, they both have the same reference point the inside of the end, but now that you have a thicker end, it decreases that gap. That's why our clearance for 5 8 inch thick drawer boxes is 3 16 of an inch, and our clearance for half inch thick drawer sides is 5 16 of an inch. With measuring drawer box depth, you can see the side mount drawer track attaches only to the drawer side, and the, the Drawer track doesn't even go all the way to the end. So you can actually vary that a little bit if you wanted to. If the homeowner would say, 
instead of not using that extra inch of space, if you have it inside the cabinet, can we make the drawer box an inch, inch and a half deeper? And the answer is yes, that's not gonna hurt anything. It won't open all the way, it won't be full extension if you do that, but they can still use that space. When you switch to undermount door track, that changes. Because undermount drawer track is attached to the bottom of the drawer box, but it also hooks around the back of the drawer. And there's a, a notch and a board hole that the drawer track clips into. And there's also a locking device in the front that references the front and the back of the drawer box. So in order for these to work, you have to order the drawer, drawer box the exact, exact depth that the slide requires. And for a 21 inch deep drawer track, you need to order your drawer box exactly 21 inches deep. Now for the quiz. If you're measuring for a drawer box that has 5 8 inch thick sides and you're using undermount drawer track, if your opening is 21 and 3 8 of an inch wide by 5 inches high and your interior depth is 22 and a half inches, how big do you make your drawer box? The answer is 21 inches wide by 4 inches high by 21 inches deep. Question 2. If you're using half inch thick sides of your drawer box and you're measuring for a side mount drawer track, if your opening is 22 and a half inches wide by 5 and a half inches high and your interior depth is 19 inches, how big should your drawer box be? The answer is 21 and a half inches wide by four and a half or five inches high and 18 inches deep. Question three, if you're using half inch thick drawer sides and you're using undermount drawer track, if your opening is 12 and a half inches wide by five inches high and 16 and a half inches is your interior depth clearance, how big should your drawer box be? The answer is 11 and 7 eighths inches wide by 4 inches high by 15 inches deep. Hopefully this video was helpful and you can now accurately and confidently measure for drawer boxes with both side mount and undermount drawer track. For more information on our products or for more helpful videos, visit our website at keystonewood.com.